Hey people out there, my name is Vincent and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're completely new and welcome to my annual Briarfest haul video that I really enjoy making and you somehow really enjoy watching. So... And my phone is trying to talk to me. I'm not talking to you. Um, as usual, I'm going through all my models that I got at Briarfest. I've been to Briarfest five times now, so this is my fifth haul video. No, I've been to Briarfest. Yeah, I've been to Briarfest five times. So this is my haul from Briarfest 2019. I usually get around 20 traditionals, um, and I didn't really count them this year. I think there are about 20 traditionals as well this year. I do have some ponies though that don't really like count as much. However, I did get quite a few stable mates this year so as usual I did have some problems getting all in my suitcase but I actually made it all of them arrived safely so um, yeah I also kind of built them up again in the order I got them so these are like kind of my clarion finds then we've got my Briarfest star specials then we kind of got the Briarfest special runs uh, my volunteer models back there which I absolutely adore. Um, then we've got some after Briarfest purchases that my camera can't focus on. We've got some stable mates. We've got some medallions, um, a porcelain uh, model. We've got my Oliver that I got for my three day ticket, which I managed to bring in my box as I tried with every other celebration model. And this year his box is actually really in perfect shape. And then we've got the Stamulate set from the Briar store. We also got two posters. One of them is the free Briar anniversary poster that they handed out at Briarfest. The other one is the Rico with the silver um, poster because obviously I needed that for my conga. And then for the first time ever, I bought some merch if you want to. I bought this tote bag um, from Briarfest with all the celebration models and I really like it. So yeah, I don't really have my tripod with me. I only have a little one. Uh, this video might be more shaky than usual, but since this video is always too long anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so my first Briarfest purchases, which weren't really Briarfest purchases, because I bought them before Briarfest, but I got these stalemates like a week before Briarfest, and these are the Walmart unicorns, and I really wanted to have that chase piece. Um, which is this lovely girl, which is glossy as well. She's so, so, so pretty. Um, so we went to Walmart in Tennessee and we went through all the bags. And obviously I felt one of the Elberosas. I was like, I'm going to get him. And then I felt through three Auroras, this mold. And I was like, oh, now it's like the question if one of them is a chase piece or not. So I realized someone had opened the corner of the plastic bags to see if the chase piece is in there, I guess. Because I looked inside through that little gap in the corner and realized there's one chase piece. So I don't know who slightly opened those bags or if it was by accident, but I don't think so, to be honest. But they actually missed the chase piece. So I just bought the chase piece and I bought one of the other Aurora's because I was sure it was not the chase piece. Whoops. This one, though, isn't really as pretty. You probably can't see it because my camera is not focusing on it. But it got like a really weird white paint drop. You might be able to see it on her like front leg. So she isn't really pretty, but at least I've got her. And at least I've got the chase piece, which is absolutely stunning. Moving on to my first actually Briarfest purchase, which was this guy, which is the volunteer model. Um, his name is Nottingham. And I've been wanting him for so, so, so many years. Actually, um, since I didn't get a single silver last year at Briarfest, I was really close to buying him in one of the rooms for $600. I know, it's crazy. And this year, someone on Instagram posted pictures of him being for sale for $375 in one of the Clarion rooms, which is a steal. But Eric and I, we were still in the car on the way to Briarfest, so we couldn't make it in time to get him. So we asked around and one of um, Erica's friend, lovely Jade, was able to buy this model for me. She went through a lot of struggle to get him, but I'm super, super happy that I'm able to get him. And um, I know that someone else got 
um, this guy for 350 in in the Claren this year. So I don't know why he has been so popular or so cheap this year, but I'm really happy I got him for my conga. He actually is a really, really nice one. I've seen a few in person. The one I had him in, in hand last year wasn't as nice as this guy because he's supposed to be round and he's got a lot, a lot of um, those white little, little sprinkles or whatever. And he is really, really pretty. The only non-pretty part about him is probably the font on the belly because I don't know who chose to use whatever Arial, whatever basic font. But anyways, he's a volunteer model for 2011. I think they're about 175 for mate. So this is, I think, my most limited silver now. So also the model I spent the most money on, believe it or not, I've never spent more than 300 on a model. So yeah, a lot of first for him, but he was definitely worth it and um, amazing addition to my conga. Then on Friday, I got those two lovely models, which were kind of a Briarfest purchase that I did before Briarfest because the lovely Anna were selling them to me. I paid her at Briarfest, but we arranged the meetup at Briarfest. So um, I got them for the original price from the Premier Club. And I actually really, really like them. I wasn't a big fan of them in the beginning, but Briar posted a picture of them in hand um, at the company. And they are absolutely amazing that fold is so freaking adorable i cannot wait until they release more colors on these two moles i absolutely adored the auction model piece which i obviously didn't win but i really like them so yeah i'm just really glad i got them i don't have a lot of ponies but this mare is also really really stunning i think they did a really great job painting her as well his her markings are really crisp um i've got a slightly light version i've seen some people getting a really dark version but um yeah i really like her and i'm really glad i got them moving on to my actually clarion finds i didn't buy a lot of models this year um because i simply didn't have enough time to go shopping in the clarion but i got this girl um because of lovely connections from jocelyn so one of her friends was selling her and she knew that i wanted her i don't know what i paid for her. i think it was about maybe $70. I saw a cheaper version at the swap meet who also was really nice and dark so I kind of regret buying her but she is a really really lovely model um, and I'm glad I have her in my collection now. I think I'm just a really big fan of the um, whole mold. I know she's not really, really realistic, but I think she just has a lovely touch to her. I don't know. And this mold has super, super gorgeous dapples. With the gloss, it makes it just really pop. I absolutely love the blue feather on the other side. So she has been a Briarfest special run a couple of years ago. But yeah, I'm really glad I got her for my rain collection, I guess. Okay, so this next model makes me happy on so many different levels. As some of you may know, I can't the silver mold I have this guy already I'm at this point where I'm only missing like three models to complete my conga well at least three models that are affordable in any way and now I kind of started to collect variations in terms of signed models so I wanted to get a signed Hidalgo because the silver the yeah, the Hidalgo is one of the only models that were able to get signed on the silver mold because the trainer was actually going to Briarfest. So this Hidalgo is actually signed at Briarfest. Um, I don't know what year it was. You can't really see it anyways because my camera is not really focusing. But it is. he is signed and I was so excited to find him in the clearing for an absolutely steal. I think he was 55 and I didn't want to negotiate the price because I thought it would be a good price already but I think I talked him down to 45 or something because my friends kind of made me to <laughs> because long story short I actually want or I actually bought one already for a hundred dollars new in box online and it, I never received the model I never got my money back and it was just a really big struggle and pain so I'm just really happy that I got one for such a good deal and Actually, this Hidalgo is in like amazing condition as well. So yeah, this is an amazing addition to my conga as well. And it's really weird because I didn't get any silver last year and I got four silvers this year. So that's amazing. So I can get my conga keep growing. So last but not least, this is my last Clarion find, which I, which I got on Saturday. At this point, I didn't buy a single unicorn at Briarfest. So really on Saturday, I was just hunting down all the unicorns I could get. And I found this guy. And now, now I saw a couple in the rooms before, um, one that wasn't really in a good condition. And this one is in absolutely stunning condition. I don't know. I think it was marked something with 70, whatever, but because it was Saturday, that girl made me an offer about 60 or 65. I can't really remember. 
but he also came with a few nan cards because he is so freaking stunning you have no idea like his paint job is so pretty i love the pearly shiny effect to it he doesn't have a single rub he's in a super good condition um considering how old he is i guess i don't know i, I think i just really really like him and I kind of got the uh, Unicorn Mare and Fall from last year, so they finally have a fitting stallion. So I'm really glad I got this guy. Okay, so moving on to my actually Briarfest purchases, I'm gonna start with the pop-up tent models. So I got this lovely set. Um, I'm not a huge Stablemate fan, but I thought it would be quite lovely to have this set, especially because out of the 10 years that are in here from the Celebration models, I went to Briarfest five times, so it is kind of nice to have all of these model, sorry, um, in this box. And since Briar did do these kind of boxes um, years ago as well, and they were quite popular, I just really want to get one. And I thought they would sell out really, really quickly, but to be honest, every time I went in the store, everything else was sold about this set. And I actually was planning on taking these out, but to be honest, I'm not showing any of them either or will do anything to them. So I'm actually considering just having them in the box because I think it's such a nice layout anyways, and it looks really, really pretty. So these might not actually ever see the sunlight. However, Taylor um, Kingston Studios got this set as well, and I watched her unpack, um, and she also gave us the models to take a look at them. So I saw all of the models, which are, by the way, really, really nice. They've got amazing details, like some of them are really nicely dappled, um, which you can't really tell outside of this box. They are really, really nice. Brian did an amazing job on them. It would be nice to get them out, but I think I'm better off just keeping them in the box. So also this lovely guy, which is I think called Sarge, um, which is a um, pop-up store special as well. He was $10 and he was sold out so freaking quickly because again, I was volunteering on Friday and I didn't imagine he would sell out that quickly. So after volunteering, I went to the shop and they were all gone. So next morning I was volunteering again and I asked Gabby's grandparents if they could grab me one and they grabbed me one. This is the one I have um, because they keep selling out. So because on Saturday I went back to the store by hoping to get more, but Saturday afternoon they were all sold out again. So Sunday morning was the only time when I was able to go in the store early because I didn't have to volunteer and I went in and all of them were sold. And they actually sent me to the other pop-up store because they have that trailer as well. And I went to the trailer as well and they were sold out there as well. So it was really weird and I'm kind of glad that I at least got this one. I don't know, they sold out so quickly. Again this year with like basically everything because I also really wanted this stable made, the single day stable made because first of all, the reference for this guy was um, the Silver Fortissimo and second of all, this mold is freaking amazing and gorgeous. Third, this paint job is absolutely stunning. And fourth, it is freaking glossy. Anyways, I really wanted this guy. Um, I went to the ticket booth on Friday. They were all sold out of single day tickets. I went to the ticket booths on Saturday where they were all sold out of single day tickets. So I was really sad. I posted on Instagram if someone was selling them and someone actually met up with me on Sunday and I think they charged me 30 bucks and I think the um, original pr price of like a single day ticket is 20 bucks. So I just paid a little bit more, but it was definitely worth it because I can't believe they sold out so quickly. And even though I was going to Briarfest, I wasn't able to get one. So I'm really glad I just got one at Briarfest because I don't know if I wanted to invest more money secondhand to get one. But yeah, he's the only single day ticket Saber Mate I got. I like the other guys as well, but I didn't want to hunt them down or pay even more for those. So I'm just glad I got this guy because again, he's absolutely stunning. Moving on to the Briarfest store specials. I got this guy, I think on Saturday, Sunday. It was really weird because Briar kept selling out or running out of the models. Um, no, I think I actually got him on Sunday because I went into the store on Saturday afternoon. It was maybe three um, or four o'clock, I don't know. I went into the stores and it was the first time I went to the stores, a uh, store at this Briarfest. So I was walking around, I saw Rico, I grabbed Ron Rico, and then I was walking around and I simply couldn't find him. So I asked someone and she was like, oh, we literally just sold out a minute ago. So I was in this store and I saw a couple people holding 
him. So basically, if I just went straight ahead and would have grabbed one of him, I probably would have gotten one, but um, they sold out while I was in the store, which was really annoying. So the next day, I actually went in with um, Erica's sister, Carly, and she grabbed a really, really nice one. There were, again, only a couple left, but um, he had really nice black spots all over him, and she was really mad that the one that she chose wasn't as nice. So she actually asked me if we wanted to trade, and I absolutely didn't mind, because he... I just really bought him because I needed him for my Appaloosa Conga, and it's not going to be like that I will show him anyways. So I've got this version now, which is still really lovely. I think they actually did an amazing job on him. He's really, really detailed. He's really, really nice. I actually saw the real horse at Briarfest, and I was really surprised that he didn't have an eye. I didn't know he was blind. Sorry about that. He's a really, really nice model. But what Carly also pointed out is that in the pictures that Briar originally posted, he had a blaze. But the pictures in the program didn't show him with a blaze. So the pictures they posted online when they first released him, he had a blaze. So I'm kind of mad that Briar didn't include the blaze. I don't know if it was a production mistake or if, you know, they just decided to then not use the blaze because the original model does have a blaze. But um, in general, I think he's just a really, really, really pretty model. Okay, so moving on to my Reek House. So as you can tell, I'm a big um, silver fan. And when I heard that they used him as a star special, I really wanted him. And I was talking about the signed silver earlier. So when I had the chance, obviously, to get a signed silver at a Briar Fest that I actually attended, I needed to try it. And I actually got one signed. Um, she, the trainer, um, did the signings, I think, every day at Briar Fest. But again, I was really busy each day. So I think I got this. Yeah, I got the signature on Sunday. It was the first signature time in the morning. So I was straight running into the park, getting in line. There were quite a few people. But I think because Sunday isn't the busiest day, I was lucky that I wasn't there on time. And I still got a signature. I also got a picture with him. And um, we were actually not allowed to touch the horse. But like, since I was standing next to him, I kind of automatically grabbed him. And they were like, oh, that's fine. You know, you're not a child. You can, you know... You you can hold him. Yeah, it was actually really nice. I got a pretty picture out of it. I talked to her a little bit. She was really nice. And I'm really happy that I got a signed Rico. And because I knew I wanted to get two Ricos, one normally and one signed, I kind of was looking for different variations on these two guys. I think this was the guy I bought before because I knew I wanted to get one signed and I got this one in the store on Sunday afterwards. So for this one, um, I went through all the boxes and I decided to get one with a lot, a lot of flea bitten um, dots. And he's actually a really, really nice one. And when I went to the store on Sunday, I decided to look for the exact opposite to have one model that has barely any flea bitten spots. So I'm kind of glad that I do have those two variations, which are probably hard to tell in person. Or if, if can I hold them next to each other without them destroying each other? Maybe the backs. So you can see on the left, a lot of um, dots. It really looks glossy or shiny at this point, whatever, which are really not as noticeable. Um, and it's really nicely fading, while this one is quite sharp with less spots. So, you know, it's not only that I do have do two silvers now or two Ricos, one signed, one unsigned, but that I also do have a slight variation on these two guys. Okay, so moving on to my Briarfest special runs this year, which were an absolutely mess. I had two special runs and I ended up buying a third one at Briarfest. First of all, I wasn't a big fan of the whole variations anyways. I wasn't a big fan of the Andalusian as the surprise model. I only really wanted Quill because he was an Appaloosa. So every time I was in the special run line, I was in the very, very back. So I was really annoyed at that. But again, I wasn't really happy with any of those special runs anyways this year. So I wouldn't have been mad if I didn't end up with any whatsoever. However, with my first special run ticket, I got a surprise and Quill. Even though I was really, really far back, I was in the last hundred people, but I still was able to get a surprise model and I think they sold out like five people behind me. Anyways, I got the rose gray one, which I didn't like and I absolutely love this guy from all the ones I saw because he's so nice and shiny. So I traded him right away outside the special run tent and I think it was a good decision even though the numbers are out now and the rose gray was um, more limited. But I just really like this guy and I would have preferred to have him in glossy because he's absolutely stunning and glossy. But yeah, so I got this one, I got a matte quill and then for my next ticket, which I had on Sunday, I was so far back in line that I didn't get anything basically because everything was sold out but Natasha, which is the Arabian, and the dog and Pepper. So what I did was I just grabbed 
um, Natasha, um, the Arabian, which is a really nice model, but I didn't really want to get her uh, in the beginning, sorry. So I just got her for a friend because I knew she wanted him, her, sorry. Yeah, I kind of wasted my special run ticket because I only got one, t one model, but you know, there was nothing else I really wanted. But while I was in line, Gabby was texting me because she knew I was so far back in line. She was like, there's a guy who's selling two special run tickets. So for like $10 each. So she got both tickets, one for me, one for her. So I went through the line again and this time we were a really good number. So I ended up getting a surprise horse and I ended up getting Rocket. Um, Rocket is a really nice model. Um, I think I liked him in the pictures better than I do liking him in person. He's fairly white on the back. He he is really nice. I like them all, but I'm not quite sure if I really, really like him if I want to keep him, to be honest. So he might actually be a sell model at some point. And then for the surprise model, I ended up getting the Chestnut Pinto. And it seemed to be he was glossy. I asked some people, I compared him to a matte. And he wasn't really matte, but he wasn't really glossy either. It was really, really weird. So I was in outside of the special run tent trying to trade it for another glossy and this one woman came up to me and basically screamed at me that he wasn't a glossy and that he was just really pearly. And I was like, well, there's a mat here to compare him. So we compared them and he wasn't really popping glossy, but he wasn't really mad, mad either. So anyways, long story short, I met up with this one girl who had multiple special runs um, or surprise models and I just really wanted the decorator. I actually really, really liked this guy. So I told her, I was like, I don't know if this is uh, matte or glossy and we asked different people and everyone had a different opinion. Anyway, she ended up trading me for the painter, whatever he was, glossy or matte, who knows at this point, for this decorator and I absolutely adore this guy. Since the number's out now, he um, just came in glossy, he's limited to 400. So I think it is really hard to tell for these guys anyways, because I wasn't quite sure if he would be glossy or if it's just the, um, you know, clear plastic, but he is actually glossy. I think I actually prefer him or like him the best out of all the surprise models this year because he's just so different and I don't know, I just really like him and I'm really glad I was able to get him. And then last but not least, a really nice girl who I volunteered with got me another quill because I told her I want to have the matte and the glossy version and she bought me one and she handed it to me on Sunday where after the volunteer meeting so everything was closed down but I actually ended up with a matte quill so I do have two matte quills now which is really really annoying because I really want to have a matte and a glossy one and it's really annoying because for the first year I actually really wanted to have the glossy for hungering or like collecting a palooza. So I wanted to have both variations. But for all the years I went to Briarfest, the last couple of years, every time where there was a split run of glossy and matte, I always, always ended up with the glossy. So last year I got the glossy Pam, the year before I got the glossy Vallegro, the year before that I got the glossy... Mm, Geronimo, I don't know the malt name anymore. So each year I went to Briarfest, I got the glossy model. But this one time I actually wanted to get the glossy model, I didn't get him. Anyways, I got these two um, quills. They are slightly different, as you may or may not can tell. This one is fairly light. This one is fairly dark. Um, I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest. I think most of them were really dark, so I might keep that light one because I wanted to trade a matte for a glossy, but no one obviously wanted to do that, sadly. So what I probably will do is sell one of them and try to get a glossy model for that price. Um, I mean, I just really like him. It's not like I need a glossy model badly, but I don't know. I just really want to have one in glossy. So that is that. A really unsuccessful slash kind of successful special online this year, really. So moving on to my last two months that I got at Briarfest this year. So on Sunday, I picked up the uh, Oliver's, the celebration model. And he actually is a really, really nice celebration model. You can't really tell because he's in the box, but he does have some brown shadings. Um, he is really lovely. I'm glad that I was able to get him in the box. Um, I only had one three-day ticket this year, so I only ended up with getting one. The last couple of years I had two tickets, so I also got one out of the box. Um, for customizing, but this year um, he will stay in the box. This is the only copy I do have. However, as some of you may or may not have seen on Instagram, I did win the costume contest again this year, so I got this guy in glossy, which I sold at Briarfest already. But uh, let me tell you, he was absolutely. St 
stunning and glossy. I think every dark model is just absolutely stunning and glossy because it makes the color pop so much. So anyways, this is Oliver. And then last but certainly not least, probably my favorite model from Briarfest this year. I absolutely adore this guy. Um, he is the volunteer model. Um, I volunteered last year and I volunteered this year. And let me tell you, they posted pictures of him on Friday morning before they actually announced or like posted any pictures of the um, surprise model. So when I saw them, when I saw him, I got so freaking excited because I think he's one of my favorite volunteer models of all times. I'm absolutely a big fan of rounds in general. And I think Brian did such an amazing job painting him. I absolutely adore the um, Totillas mold. He's one of my favorite molds. I only do have one model on this mold, Rico. So I'm super excited to add him to my collection. I think his paint job is just absolutely stunning. I'm so glad that I was able to get him um, firsthand from Briar as a volunteer. However, which you may or may not can see, I'm always in really bad luck with my volunteer model. If you have seen my last whole video, you know that last year they had a lot of problems with issues on the model because um, they were shipped so fast, whatever. So I was able to exchange him right away at the volunteer meeting. This year they told us they don't exchange the volunteer models um, personally anymore. So we have to contact Briar after Briarfest. So when I unpack my guy, and I'm pretty sure you will not be able to tell um, on his front, you, he has got like three lines, three shiny marks, and it kind of looked like someone was trying to get the tape off for the star, but like kind of missed it. It's really hard to tell right now in the light, which isn't a massive issue. I still contacted Briar, but I never got a reply for them from them. So uh, what I will do, I'll try to fix it because his head is fairly dark anyways. And even though if I wouldn't fix it, I think people wouldn't notice anyways. His face is so wonky. Holy moly, that is so terrible. I didn't realize that. Look at the difference from the nostrils. This is, you know, I'm always in really, yeah, I have really bad luck with volunteer models. Whatever, I still really like this guy. I did um, kind of lost or slash forgot his base in the US, so he will not be able to stand at the moment. He is still my favorite model that I got at Briarfest, even though he's got all these issues. But I think he's just absolutely stunning. Okay, so since we are through all of my Briar OF model purchases that I got at Briarfest, this is the only resin slash medallion that I got this year at Briarfest, which is the amazing, amazing medallion by Carly Parks this year. I'm not even attempting to pronounce his name because I now will butcher it in any way because um, it is not English or German either. So it's a great name, but um, yeah, he's absolutely stunning. He is fairly big, as you may or may not can tell by the size of my hand compared to the model. And he comes with this magnet tail so he's actually able to stand up 3d on any surface and he she's holding the contest again like she did last year for her takeshi medallion like a painting contest and i have really big and exciting plans for him already so stay tuned for that i also got these two guys which are made by maggie bennett i've got this one medallion and i also got this one micro mini and I got them from the lovely Beth. If you know Beth, you know what I'm talking about. But Beth is basically the heart of this hobby. She is from North Carolina. I stayed at her place for one night with Erica. She's got an amazing collection. She's the loveliest human being on earth. So she gave me those two along with the unicorn that I'm going to show you in a minute. So I'm so happy I got them. And thanks again, Beth. And this is the unicorn that I got from Beth. He is absolutely stunning. I want to get him a couple times at Briarfest. He is fairly small compared compared to the other Chinese that I do have. So I have Aurora that I got a couple of years ago and I thought he would match quite nicely as a Cellian, but he's actually fairly small. But anyways, he also came with a lot of Nan cards, but let me just get him out of the box and we can take a closer look at him. So here he is, as you may can tell, he is fairly small. He's more of like a classic scale, slightly bigger than classic, but not really traditional either, as you can tell. He is a shiner, he is hollow, he is really, really gorgeous. Like mentioned earlier, he came with a lot of Nan cards. He has a really lovely paint job and 
yeah, I just really like this mold. I just wish he would be a slight bit bigger so he would fit to match with like a Rao as a stallion. But um, yeah, I'm super glad I got him. And I think Briar needs to do more post lean or China models because I think they are so freaking adorable and detailed. And I don't know, I think they're like on a new level of collecting. It's not like OF collecting. Um, and I think it's kind of nice. I do have quite a few Shiners by now. So I hope at one point they will do more Shiners or like, yeah, Briar Fest special runs maybe okay so moving on to my after breath has purchases so i got this guy which is icicle which was um limited edition model from but what does it say 2013 um i remember when he came out i actually really liked him but i never ended up buying one because i'm not so big on ponies but i saw someone on instagram putting together this premier club mare with him and i think they match actually quite nicely from the size and i think i just want to have a lovely family with those two and um the fall so i ended up getting him he came with some nan cards as well i don't even know what i paid for him but it was a good deal so yeah i also got this spirit from the new new spirit series um writing free as you can tell by my voice i'm a super big fan of this tv show anyways um i actually got him for customizing however i do feel tempted to start conquering the spirit and rain model um but i don't know if i will customize him or keep him for now but yeah i got this guy as well and then we've got a really special model i'm not a big fan on vintage models but one day we were driving around with Erica and her sister to a bunch of antique shops, antique malls. And actually in one of the malls I found an old um, Schleich figure, a human, what they used to make before the actual figurines. And he was bendable, he was in really good condition. He was 20 bucks, which was fairly expensive, but I didn't end up buying him. He was actually tagged with like Schleich made in Germany, whatever. So that person knew what it was and how special he was. But I didn't want to buy him simply because I will never be able to appreciate him as much. And I didn't want to bring him back to Germany. I thought it would be so cool to find him in the US. So me bringing him back to Germany wouldn't have been as special. So I hope someone else will find him in that antique shop and will appreciate him and that he is in the US. Anyway, so we found a couple briars and in one briar store they had a couple vintage models. And again, I'm not really big on vintage model. I really like the Pam model. This is the Fam though, the family, family Arabian stallion. Um, and she's in Appaloosa. She's glossy as well. And I think I paid $10 for her maybe 20 it was really good it was a steal it's it's just wanted to keep her as like a memory piece um that reminded me of that day and the antique shopping and the fact that you can find vintage buyers at an antique shop i mean she is in a rough condition she has got quite a few rubs and sometimes you can see that some of those dots are actually painted on with a sharpie because to overlap with probably some of the rubs you might be able to tell this one is painted on you can tell because they got like this purple undertone um, while others are the original spots and then you can see on the shoulder there are quite a few marks anyways i'm never going to show it anyways i think uh, my pam just needed a friend so it's kind of nice to have another vintage model in my collection that also has such a nice background story and she's glossy so i just kind of had to get her for again 10 bucks 20 bucks i don't remember all righties we get to my very very last model from my briar or us haul video so i really fell in love with this mold um, and I kind of decided to start conquering this mold. So what I wanted to get is that Chase P's Silver Glossy Alboroso. So Erica and I, we have been driving around to, I don't know, 10 stores maybe, trying to find him, trying to find the series. So only two stores actually had that series, that Chase P series. But every time they only had two figures left and none of them were actually the Alboroso. So I wasn't able to get the normal Alboroso, the Bay, whatever it is, or even get a chance to get the Chaser piece. So in one of the stores, I actually found him, which is in that, um, I don't know, do-it-yourself paint kit, whatever, which is the blank um, Alboroso unicorn. So I kind of want to get him. We also ended up finding the unicorn set that is like in those different colors, like each of the unicorns is in one purple, you know, color. I don't know what they call it. I'll include a picture. Um, but since we were running re really late to get me to the airport, I didn't end up buying that set so yeah i only bought this guy for the conga and i'm really really mad that i wasn't able to find the chase piece but you know what maybe next year 
here they will still have the chase piece or someone will find it for me or I will just buy one online. But um, anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this whole video. I hope this isn't too long. Again, this year has been a little bit different um, regarding clarion finds or whatever, but I still got everything I wanted. I'm really happy with what I got. I didn't spend as much money as I used to, which is a good thing. And I can't wait for Briarfest next year. So thanks for watching. Like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more haul videos and unpacking videos and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys very soon. Bye!